चलो नेक्स्ट ओके ऑलरेडी very good afternoon everyone uh, today is my topic uh, today is my lecture topic is make, make in india so um, uh, the make in india uh, the, the this project the reasons behind this project our government started has uh, was because of the many of the expenses that our government was facing it was the, the our government was in losses because of some of the projects like this our uh, because the imports coming in our country was uh, imports are coming in our country was uh, was very uh, high uh, was very at a high rate and the exports going was at very, very low rates the, due to this our country was uh, facing the uh, facing a series of losses because of uh, all this uh, all this projects our uh, make in india is a project in which our country has decided to make many of the projects uh, many of the defense equipments many of the medicines etc or uh, etc all in all in our country uh, uh, besides taking help from other countries uh, for example for, for example brahmos missile systems Uh, which is a joint missile system for a uh, uh, joint missile system of india and russia both uh, both countries have uh, established a brahmos agency uh, brahmos air uh, uh, name uh, organization name is brahmos uh, uh, brahmos aerospace they uh, they form their brahmos missiles over there and due to this projects our uh, due to this projects our country is becoming self dependent and the uh, many of the uh, advantages for this uh, uh, because of this uh, projects is our country is becoming self dependent and uh, for the many of the defense equipments many of the many many of the other things are uh, uh, self reliantly we are using uh, we are we are using we don't uh, we need don't, we don't need to depend on any other countries and uh, in the in a uh, situations like emergency war times we don't uh, we, we will not need to depend on other countries in the emergency like situations in all and after, uh, and in, uh, in this uh, in making in the projects many of the, many of the defense equipments are uh, are in the process to be constructed in our country and our country is uh, our country is be, uh, becoming dependent thank you so much and uh, for, with that i would like to con conclude my topic thank you so much okay sit okay make in india a government program all those who want to go for ssb were planning to have a future in our armed forces they must study government schemes especially big programs and schemes like make in india in a very detailed and thorough manner so you chose make in india over nuclear energy optical fiber medical transcription so perhaps you may be knowing a little about it that is what they would believe you know the assessor sitting there the gto but it was clear right from the beginning that you were not having that much of an idea about make in india now you first of all what you should try to do since you have some time in hand before your ssb comes please make it a habit to read at least times of india daily if not any other newspaper if you read something like the hindu or indian express much better if you read journals which come much better than that okay but make in india so what is make in india make in india was a program started by our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji in september if i'm not wrong 2015 okay we'll just check it on google in some time what was the reason behind it that history shows that whenever a country which was not having any natural resource for instance saudi arabia has become rich based on petroleum money okay so if you don't have any such natural resource and you want to grow and prosper then manufacturing has played a very important role in almost all those countries united states has been a big manufacturing hub you know they produce everything right from uh, vehicles to laptop only recently china became a powerhouse of manufacturing otherwise earlier it was all united states that was dominating then right from 70s china made a big push into manufacturing and even today china's gdp around 30 to 40% of the contribution to gdp comes from manufacturing 
even in Malaysia that is roughly the same okay so that is the trend when countries go from developing to developed ma uh, manufacturing plays a major role in our country from last many decades the contribution of manufacturing to GDP has just been around 15 percent roughly so with that vision in mind that we will increase this share Modi ji decided that we will start giving a push to manufacturing and this is how Make in India was born. Okay, we wanted to attract foreign investment. We prioritized 25 sectors in like heavy industries, telecom, IT, automobile, you know, so we prioritized that in this sector, we'll try to bring in foreign investment, attract foreign manufacturing, uh, big companies, you know, those things. Then comes the topic that you know manufacturing what is it depending on mainly two things one is power one is labor speak a little about the power sector okay in some parts of india there is still power issue power power outages are common and due to which india is said to be power deficient when the overall picture is seen some states are power surplus but not all so that is one problem we can talk about the problems the power sector is facing in case you have studied it okay power sector is in loss in almost all major states so that becomes a problem why will a foreign investor come to your country when he sees that one of the most basic requirements of manufacturing is not in a good condition in your country then the second thing that comes is labor okay all right in India, the situation of labor is not very healthy because only around 6% are working in organized sector. Around 68% of our labor force is earning less than 10,000 per month. Okay, so that's why then along with Make in India, there was Skill India so that it will all get a push. Skilled labor, if you go to a place like Delhi, if you go to a place like Mumbai, what is their earning? Their earning is below 15 to 25,000 per month. So, survival is anyways difficult. Now, when you pay less, okay, when you pay less, you don't get good quality because the person is not very motivated, very determined. Then our labor laws have huge problem. For instance, one of the big problems you face in manufacturing, why the efficiency or the motivation level of the labor is very low is because there is this uh, law, uh, I'm not able to recall the exact number of days. Uh, there is a certain number of days, it's not more than, uh, I'm not able to recall it right now, some 320 or 370. If you need a labor for less than those number of days, you can keep him as a contract worker. If you keep a person as a contract worker, you, you don't have the burden of giving him PF, giving him you know insurance, giving him those kind of extra benefits. So you save money. So it's in your interest if you're a businessman. But what is the law that if you're not going to need him after that? So what our uh, Indian manufacturing units and businessmen do, uh, a few years ago there was a murder that took place, there was a lot of violence that took place in Gurgaon's Maruti plant. It was related to this particular law because there workers had ended up working for more than 10 years and 15 years as contract workers. What they used to do, what many manufacturing companies do is, I'm not talking about Maruti, I'm not so sure what was you know the main technical reason. The main thing they do is when they know you are about to complete that contract period, they'll tell you to go home, relax for a few days, your contract is over. And then if you want to rejoin, which you would like to rejoin because you need work, you need to earn money. So then it will be a fresh new contract. So you are on contract basis for years. We are not trying to remedy that. You know, so these are the problems, some of the problems. Then the next thing you can bring in is that in spite of Make in India, there have been instances where we have been heavily dependent on foreign supply. For instance, I think when we celebrated the first International Yoga Day in India, you know, huge batch that was. So even those yoga mats we procured from China. Even the foundry work of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel statue, if I am not wrong, you can check it on Google, has been done by companies based in China. So on one side we are talking about make in India, but then when government wants to procure, it is doing procurement from abroad. So how good is that? So you need to bring in all these points, you know, that will be in your best interest. One of the biggest thing is, you need to understand, uh, make in India was promoted saying that it will generate lot of employment. 
okay and i think i have talked uh, spoken to you earlier about this between 2005 2010 manufacturing as well as indian economy in general grew around 9 to 10 percent so that ways a lot of jobs should have been generated but it was in those years that the jobs in manufacturing decreased from 55 to 47 million roughly why because of automation so manufacturing is no longer uh, a source of you know employment the way it used to be 20 30 years ago so if you are telling someone today that make in india will generate a lot of jobs you need to think again throughout the world that's why in countries like the united states as well as in europe in fact finland tried it universal basic income is a concept they are working on because automation is taking away human jobs rapidly you bring in a simple robo pick and place robo in your company three ships it takes away total six jobs you know why we need automation why industrialists will prefer to go for automation first they don't need leaves they don't get tired they work perfectly they are highly efficient because it is a machine at the end of the day so you know first of all you get perfection in work there is no additional cost they don't need leaves they don't need bio breaks they don't need to go to washrooms so you know it goes in their favor there's no way you can stop it so all these points you should have raised anyway next